The ballot measure would roll back key provisions of Propositions 47 and 57. One of the authors of the legislation says delaying the vote until 2020 is an intentional stalling tactic. San Diego County only had to count 2,000 votes, verify 2,000 signatures. So um, I spent 30 years in law enforcement, and this stinks to high heaven on. Assembly Democrat Jim Cooper of Elk Grove says election officials in San Diego County didn't verify the signatures in time to get in onto the November ballot and says officials are trying to pull a fast one. And some technicians might test DNA and get one result, whereas another technician might test the same samples and get another result entirely. The measure would roll back a provision of Prop 47 that makes stealing items valued at less than $950 a misdemeanor. Under the new initiative, theft of any item valued over $250 would be a felony and DNA would be taken from the suspect. That means a much larger DNA database and a much bigger margin for error. Which means the DNA database would be much greater. There's good and bad with that. For all its issues, King says DNA testing is still the best thing going. On the upside, with all the, the problems there are with DNA evidence, it's more reliable than any other kind of evidence we have right now. The measure also addresses concerns about 2016's Proposition 57, which allowed early release from behind bars for many nonviolent offenders. Justin Lum, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.